His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, on the advent of Eid Al Adha. In the cable, His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, extended his heartfelt good wishes to His Majesty the King on this happy occasion, wishing him good health, happiness, and many happy returns. His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa also wished the people of Bahrain and the Islamic nation at large further development and prosperity. In reply, His Majesty the King sent a cable of good wishes to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister on the occasion. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa also received a cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the advent of Eid Al Adha. In the cable, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince extended his heartfelt good wishes to His Majesty the King on this happy occasion, wishing him good health, happiness and many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also wished the people of Bahrain and the Islamic nation at large further development and prosperity. In reply, His Majesty the King sent a cable of good wishes to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on the occasion. His Majesty the King exchanged cables of good wishes with leaders of the GCC as well as Arab and Islamic countries upon the advent of Eid al-Adha. His Majesty wished them good health, happiness and many happy returns and to their countries and people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received a cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the advent of Eid al-Adha. In the cable, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished His Royal Highness the Prime Minister good health and happiness and many happy returns. He also wished the people of Bahrain and the Islamic nation at large further development and prosperity. In reply, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a cable of good wishes to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on the occasion. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also exchanged cables of good wishes with leaders and Prime Ministers of the GCC, Arab and Islamic countries, on the advent of Eid al-Adha, wishing them good health, happiness and many happy returns, and to their countries and people, further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes with leaders, Prime Ministers and Crown Princes of the GCC, Arab and Islamic countries on the advent of Eid Al Adha, wishing them good health, happiness and many happy returns and to their countries and peoples further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa returned to Bahrain following an official visit to Russia at the invitation of Russian President Vladimir Putin. His Majesty was received by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. During the visit, His Majesty held talks with the Russian President on the existing deep-rooted bilateral relations and ways to further bolster them in various fields, in addition to regional and international developments. The visit also included the signing of a number of agreements and MOUs to enhance joint bilateral cooperation. His Majesty also paid a visit to the International Military Technical Forum Army 2016 held in the Kubinka in the Moscow region. He was seen off at Moscow's airport by presidents of the pastors of the Church of Antioch, Russia, protocol director of the Russian Foreign Ministry, the Bahraini ambassador to Russia, Russia's ambassador to Bahrain, Vajiev Gareev, and members of the Bahraini embassy. His Majesty sent a letter to the Russian president expressing his thanks and appreciation for his warm reception and hospitality. He also praised bilateral relations and affirmed that the visit resulted in positive outcomes, which reflects the keenness of both sides to continue to strengthen cooperation in various fields. His Majesty expressed his aspiration to receive the Russian president in Bahrain for the opportunity to continue enhancing cooperation and coordination and to achieve mutual aspirations. His Majesty also expressed pleasure in participating in the International Military Technical Forum. He expressed thanks and appreciation to the Russian president and hailed the strong relations between the two countries, wishing him and the Russian people health and prosperity. 
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today in the presence of the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the representatives of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the West Asia Athletics Federation and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who introduced to His Majesty Bahraini gold medalist of the Olympic 3000 meter steeplechase, Ruth Jebet, and the Bahraini silver medalist of the marathon, Yunis Kerwa. His Majesty the King presented Jebet and Kerwa with a medal in appreciation for their efforts in the Rio de Janeiro Olympics. He also received the members of the national youth handball team on the occasion of winning the seventh Asian Youth Championship and qualifying for the Tbilisi 2016 Athletics Youth Championships. He congratulated the Bahraini athletes and administrators for these historical achievements. His Majesty said that he was pleased with the outcome and that he is looking forward to forthcoming tournaments. He said that it is the Kingdom's duty to provide full support to the youth through creating athletic training facilities. He commended the efforts of their Highnesses Sheikh Nasser and Sheikh Khalid and the efforts of Bahraini Athletics Association and the Handball's Board of Directors under its chairman Ali Issa Ishaki. His Majesty expressed his pride in Bahraini youth who enriched the Kingdom's achievements in all fields and affirmed his support, wishing them success and prosperity. For their part, Jibit and Kerwa expressed their thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for presenting them with the medal, which will inspire them to work harder and reach greater achievements. They commended the King's constant support, which assisted them in achieving the gold and silver medals. They also expressed their thanks and appreciation to their Highnesses Sheikh Nasser and Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa for their support and encouragement and for providing all the necessary means which led to these globally recognized achievements. The National Youth Handball Team also expressed their thanks and appreciation for receiving the constant support and encouragement of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, announced the launch today of a national government forum under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, which will take place on September 18th. It will be centred around the Kingdom's continued efforts to deliver a modern and dynamic public sector that can facilitate long-term prosperity through private sector growth and provide public services that meet citizens' needs and aspirations. The Government Forum 2016, which will be the first of its kind in the Kingdom, will bring together ministers and officials from across the government to explore ways in which even greater sustainable diversification and economic prosperity can be delivered. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince noted the enhanced government collaboration and internal coordination will be crucial to helping Bahrain adjust to rapid global and regional socio-economic changes. He said that the newly launched government forum will facilitate interaction and the exchange of new ideas across all levels of government. He also highlighted that His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa's directives and leadership have and continue to inform every aspect of Bahrain's long-term development, noting the Prime Minister's commitment to advancing all sustainable diversification efforts. Following the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa to distribute 3,200 housing units, the Ministry of Housing strengthened its efforts on allocating housing beneficiaries from the existing waiting lists. The Ministry stressed that the final preparations continued after office hours and through weekends in order to complete them in time for Eid al-Adha. The Ministry expressed thanks and appreciation for the care and support given by the wise leadership. It added that His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's last visit to the Ministry of Housing after it successfully distributed the first batch proves the will of the leadership to efficiently and effectively deliver the housing units to beneficiaries on the waiting lists.